boy! How are we going to write solutions to consistent, meaning it has a solution, and dependent means it has infinite solutions. How do we write it as a point? I point out that we have a game plan. Well, kind of. If you find out it has infinite solutions, algebraically or whatever, then solve for the dependent variable and write the solution as a point. I know, it sounds simplistic, but what do we have here? Well, these are the same system, why? What if I multiply this one by a minus five? When I say this one, I mean the top one. So then, so then, so then, that's a five x. Five minus five, minus five. Minus five times a minus three is a positive 15 y. And then a minus five times four is a minus 20. And that one under it, you see, they are the same. When they are the same, they have infinite solutions. But the point of this video is not that they are the same. It is writing it as a point. So pick one, doesn't matter which one, because they are the same one. Whoa. So I'll just take the top one. And I want to solve it for the dependent variable. Now, I could solve it for the independent variable, and that wouldn't be wrong. It's just weird. You're just weird. So, let me solve for my y. And I find that's a minus 3y is a minus x plus 4. Sure. Now I'm going to divide everything by that minus 3. So my y is going to be a minus and minus make plus 1 third x and then minus 4 thirds. Sure, because when I divide by that minus, it changes both the signs. Now, this is what I was looking for. This is my independent. That's my dependent. Now, I can write my point as x. What's x? It's just x. It's whatever it wants to be. y depends on whatever x is. But what's my y? I'm writing my solution as x, y. So instead of writing my y, I'm going to do the incognito. That'll be neato. One, three, uh-huh. And then four thirds. I heard I can find all the solutions to the system like here. All right. So like if my y was three, I guess I don't even have to, I can be integers because those are on thirds. So let's just say x is equal to zero. Do I need to do this part? No, that's zero and minus four thirds. That's going to be a solution. What if x was equal to one? Well, uh, then that's one and one third minus four thirds is a minus three thirds is a minus one. That's going to be a solution. Check it! All the x values I can put in there, even irrational ones, are going to be solutions to that system. So what? What gets the box? What gets the flower? You get a box. And a flower. We were talking about how to write infinite solutions as a point. I guess there is another way. You could also do set notation. What are we talking about? Points where they fit this expression. X minus 3Y is equal to 4. Yeah, that's set notation, but that's another thing. Anyway, be done.